Hey, this is Jim Bartomey, and it's Tuesday, which means it's another segment of Table Time with Jim. And even though I'm not coming to you from my kitchen today, I'm going to share with you a really simple dinner that you can prepare in less than 15 minutes. And so the main course of the meal, the protein of the meal, is going to be scallops and shrimp. So a lot of people like to incorporate a protein with their carbohydrate, right? And depending on what your metabolic type is, your ratio is gonna be a little bit different. But if you're preparing your protein, a lot of times that takes more effort, more time, more preparation than just chopping something up, like let's say for a salad or some vegetables and just putting them on your plate. So the protein that we're gonna be making today, like I said, is gonna be the scallops and the shrimp. And you have to be really careful with scallops because there's a texture aspect to it and you don't want to overcook them and you of course don't want to undercook them but you really don't want to overcook them that's even worse because then they're really rubbery and they're really chewy and they can be really off-putting and a lot of people like that nice sear to the scallops and that's going to be really important too because that gives it a nice little cr uh, crunch which adds a little bit of texture to it as well so i'm going to show you i'm going to tell you exactly how to get that crunch and the quickest way to cook your scallops to perfection all right, so you're gonna to wanna to start off with drying your scallops. So I buy the frozen scallops and the frozen shrimp and I just run them under uh, cool running water in a bowl and they're probably done thawing within 10, 15 minutes. Then I pat them dry. This is a really, really important step. You wanna make sure that they're completely patted dry with some paper towels. I line it with a little piece of aluminum foil and then put the paper towels over the top of that. And then I pat them dry as best as I can. Then I'll add my spices. Spices are really, really simple. I use sea salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I do that to both sides of the scallops and the shrimp, and then I get the pan ready to go. So for the pan, what I use is a stainless steel skillet uh, or you know stainless steel pan, and I get it really hot, probably about medium high heat, and then I use a little bit of grapeseed oil and then a pad of butter. The grapeseed oil helps the butter from not burning so much, and then of course the butter just adds really, really great flavor. So from there, you're gonna get that nice and hot, but not to the point where the butter is really starting to burn, and then you're gonna add the scallops, but you want the pan really, really hot before, and so you're gonna add each scallop, and you wanna have them spaced apart. So right now I'm making seven scallops, and I'm keeping them pretty spaced apart, and then you're adding the shrimp, and I'm actually gonna have two pans going for this. Once all of it is in the pan, I set a timer for three minutes and you don't touch them. You don't move the pan around, you don't do anything like that. You just let it sit there in the exact same spot that you placed it in for three minutes. When you flip it over, you're gonna see that nice brown sear on the top of the scallop and you'll start to see a little bit on the, on the shrimp, but not as much. And it'll have that nice golden brown color and then you flip them over and you set another timer for three minutes. This gives you a total cooking time of just six minutes and while it's cooking in between, you have enough time to cut up some more vegetables if you're making a salad, or you can always prep the vegetables ahead of time and have them in a separate pan, cooking, sauteing, whether you're roasting them or sauteing them or something like that. But a salad's always a really good option for both of these uh, fishes. What I'm actually having is leftover quinoa pasta with some broccoli and cauliflower that I had made a few nights. So if you have something left over in the refrigerator and you just wanna use that as your side, that's a really great option too because it's already made. All you have to do is throw it in the toaster oven, not the microwave, and heat it up and then you're ready to go. And now by that time, your timer will have gone off for your scallops. You'll have a nice sear on both sides of it. They're cooked to perfection, less than 15 minutes or maybe 15 minutes and there you go. So I hope this was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave me any comments below. Try it yourself. See how you like it. I'll see you next Tuesday.